like if I was a viewer I would probably be confused too you know I have my own YouTube channel and then all of a sudden we have this YouTube channel Yes, we did it, Fluffs. I'm gonna do a doo doo on your in your kitchen. What's up, guys? It's me, Brook and Teal, with <laughs> with another Brook and Teal video. Today's episode, I just want to catch up with Brook and Teal. Possibly two of the most disliked people on the internet. Before we start the episode, just a little house cleaning. Hi, Future Leo with Future Fluffs here. I'm gonna do a doo-doo on your bed. And we're here to say this video is sponsored. This video is sponsored by the Modern Frontiersmen, who are a group of independent journalists who are committed to documenting the then and now of this world. Basically, these dudes are exploring dangerous, unknown and forgotten places and finding the best they can within them, which is pretty damn cool. So if you're into like urban exploration or history or even just adventure in general, check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description and thank you guys for sponsoring this video. Also, their dog, Kiwi, so cute. Yep, that's a dog smiling. Something you probably won't see in the coming minutes of this video. Fluffs, take it away. Shit, when a dog dies in a movie, let me scratch this out again. When a when a person dies in a music movie, it's like ah, so sad. Just a little house cleaning. Eighty five thousand guys. <laughs> We're back. Past Leo was wrong as usual. We passed a hundred thousand, baby. We're on to one hundred and fifty. You, me, Fluffs, and the Leo army. Subscribe and uh, subscribe to me, and I'll give you a hug. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I just want to clarify, I'm not saying that I dislike them personally, I'm just saying literally from the like to dislike ratio, pound for pound, probably the most disliked people. Why are they the most disliked people, 16 Leo? She decided to turn into Rey Mysterio and use her special 619 move on her dog. I don't know if it was a WWE audition tape, but she sure as hell didn't make it. Before we take a look at the long video, the game today is simple. Every time she does something that's a no-no, I'ma call you out on it. I got the crazy eyes now, Brooke. <sighs> it looks like I'm constant. I'm looking at the camera. It looks like I'm fucking constipated. <laughs> Let's take a look at the video. Change is coming. I hope it is. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our life. life. Today we kind of just want to give you guys an update video about what's going on. Uh, the top comment. You're still trying. Why not get off YouTube? Whew. At least they kept the comments on. Once this quarantine's over, start doing some sick videos again, getting out. This dude had the fucking nerve to say, once we get out of quarantine, we're gonna do some sick videos. Bro, Teal has, this, Teal has that special IQ. You know, you get some better syntax, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I am. Yep. I'm in a coma, literally. My head is on my arm like this, and this leg's up. Kind of no, like we hope that you guys are having a fun quarantine too. That's a no. Okay, so that did nothing. Opening up about the dog. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Teal. I just want to talk about the dog situation. Because this is what we keep seeing yeah. come up in these comments. We, we continue to see dog abusing, whatever it is, like this whole situation come up. So. Right. Yes. You know why? Because it happened. So of course you're gonna keep seeing it, Teal. I made a mistake, but I have learned from that mistake. I don't let that mistake define me. I have grown that opportunity to be able to change. What the f is Teal doing? What what is this Kanye West like? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're about the dog. The dog. Like what is that? What? And I'm just gonna freestyle for the first time with a freestyle. That don't even go together. Oh. <laughs> no rhymes. That's my new shit. <laughs> Nothing rhymes. I think I broke my neck. I am sorry. I made a mistake. We don't view these hate comments as a negative thing. Mm -hmm. We view them as an opportunity to spread God's love. Amen. We didn't make this channel for me. We didn't make this channel for Teal. We it's called Brook and Teal. The channel. What, what, what? We made this channel right here to spread God's love. Yep. Yeah, well, why don't you call the channel Spreading God's Love? 
TV or what, <laughs> whatever. What is the point of that? It sounds like you want the fame. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I calls it how I sees it. I make mistakes in the future. Sure, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has those days. Nah, Uber does not pay. Oh girl, you slay. The Migos. And if we let ourselves be defined by our past, if everyone was defined by their past, imagine that. Imagine they're going what nowhere. That we were they're living. going nowhere. Teal says, scratching his armpit. Uh, no, they're going somewhere. Especially if you're amazing enough to admit that what you did in the past does not define your future. The way you guys talk about it is as if people just forget things. I don't think people who do something bad can live it down if they don't take active steps to do something better. And I have not seen any active steps. You're just explaining the same thing over and over again but let's see let me see i want to talk about the dog not you you can come back from anything and everything mm -hmm. and now teal is going to share a little bit of his perspective on the situation okay i needed reverend teal to come out and talk to us teal all right guys so as brooke said i am going to give my whole entire perspective now no of course she just said that and you just repeated it i love teal is just just i i met you two months ago i had zero Zero ideas. Get seated, buckle in, strap up. It's gonna be long, it's gonna be deep, it's gonna be- He's still, he's still, it's been a minute or two minutes. He still doesn't, he still hasn't said it. He's like, I have been waiting for this moment for, oh, can you tell me what to say? Oh, my life, I don't know. What the f you want me to say? Anybody, oh, it's bleeding into two conversations now. I'm Teal and I think I pooped myself. I I'm so excited to be able to share my side, my perspective of this entire thing. To start, we're gonna put the dog thing completely aside. What? 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 <laughs> no! When I first met Brooke, we went on a little hike. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I was love at first sight. It absolutely was not love at first sight. There wasn't like, it was nothing like that at all. I did not want a girlfriend. I could have half my time, it's half my month. Like, it was making excuses. We talked about like what we want in life. I talked about our goals. We just got to know each other. Brooke had mentioned nothing about the dog. So I want you guys to understand from my perspective, this is three or four times of hanging out with Brooke now. Three or four times, I didn't want a girlfriend. Still at this point, I don't want a girlfriend. <laughs> He's back at it. He's like, I did not want a girlfriend. And she didn't even mention the dog. Uh, why are you flaming me? I'm. T She's the one who hit it. She <laughs> this, this dude is like an undercover roaster right there. <laughs> Brooke had mentioned nothing about the dog. She's just like, ah, oh, don't tell them that. Mm. Every time she gets in that car, it's a hot box because he flames her. What? This dude. I just <laughs> okay, we don't hang out. I'm sitting in my studio. I go on Instagram to creep her page. No idea about her YouTube, the dog, nothing. Click on the YouTube thing. And obviously I see like 320,000 subscribers. But I knew that was like, okay, that's a good amount. I told my buddy, I was like, hey man, like is this is a pretty good amount of like subscribers. He's like, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, he doesn't know what 320,000 is. He had to quantify that. He had to ask a few friends. Hey, bro, is 320,000. Is it more than five or less? And be serious this time. He's a simple man. He's a sump. Old man. Like, he's like on both ends of the spectrum. I think I've said it. Like, you either really, really like him or you're like, bro, can you just, can you, can you think about it? Ah, uh, Teal. Brooke didn't bring this up. I like, shouldn't mention anything. Go to Google and I type in Brooke Houts on Google. Just cause, come on, we can, I, I was, I was curious. I had no idea. What am I getting myself into? Like, what, you know, I didn't know. I Googled Brooke Houts. You guys can imagine <laughs> what came up. <laughs> this just popped up on my screen, right? Dog abuser, TMZ, like LA, like all, like, like what? I haven't said anything to Brooke. I'm just myself trying to like investigate, like what is, like who is, like what is going on? What am I missing here? This dude act like he's in Sherlock Holmes. I ended up finding the video. I had looked for a long time. I typed it in. I said Brooke Hout's cat, Brooke Hout's mango, Brooke Hout's giraffe, Brooke Hout's elephant. But then I said Brooke Hout's dog and it all came up. Teal, Teal. Just search up Brooke Hout's, it'll come up. Nope. I ended up finding the video, uh, the dog video that went viral. So just to talk on that, my dad trained police dogs for over 10 years. I see Brooke open-handedly hit her dog, an 80 pound purebred Doberman. <laughs> Brooke spent a whole, did you, you remember the tweet? I'll put it up. What I did there was not animal abuse. I definitely did not hit my dog. I did not spit on my dog. I did not. 
This dude comes out, the first thing he said is, my dad's been training canines forever. This lady sm- Bro, she did a woo on her dog. Yeah. Do you to the ball, Snoop Doggy Dog. Uh, it's about to beat your ass. Thank you, Teal, for the very honest, open-handed information. And then I see her fake spit to get the dog's attention because the dog reacts to that. It reacts to air, okay? Am I saying that's right? Absolutely not. And I 100% could see how anyone on the internet that's just sitting in their home that has no idea who Brooke is, no idea who the dog is, I realize and I understand if you see this video, I get where you would think that that's a- Bro, he's now doing rap video things. He's I can see what people are doing, okay? I don't know what you want me to say. She fake spit on her dog. I am teal. Maybe blowing air at the dog? Cause when I blow air, I don't go Pfft. That's a lame excuse, man. That's a no right there. Having dogs my entire life, seeing Brooke's video, and seeing the hate in the comments to follow, it didn't add up to me. And I watched the video again, I, I continued to watch it. And you want me to be completely honest with you? I sent the video to my dad. My dad looked at the video. My mom watched the video. My, my dad goes, I mean, yeah, that, that's all. I feel awful for her. I feel terrible that that was shown in front of the internet for millions of people who don't know like how to handle a, a grown dog or how to train a dog and everyone just felt terrible for Brooke. I was joking before but now you're being absolutely ridiculous. She put the video up. It's not, don't feel sorry for her. She's the one who uploaded it. She was so comfortable with what she had done that she did it on camera. How does that quantify your knowledge if your dad is someone who worked with dogs? If you see someone hit a dog, that's wrong. If you see someone hit a kid, I'm not going to go to someone from kindergarten and be like, hey, is slapping your kid okay? It's You don't get it, do you? Feeling sorry for her is not the thing. It's the dog we feel sorry for. I come from training police dogs for, like, police work. Like, we do much harder disciplining than what you guys saw in the video, you know? So, like, if you guys really want to see disciplinary videos, like, you should watch canine videos. Is he going somewhere? Why he still got a seatbelt on? Does this dude not know the car's not moving? Oh, Bro, he's just like, oh man, safety first. If you're driving, I might as well wear the seatbelt when we're not moving. You somehow still will crash, okay? All these questions starting to pop in my head, like what Like, what am I missing here? What, there has to be something I'm missing about bro. Like, is she, 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 I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know what kind of crack this man is smoking, but he is really, really on it. They should have a camera that moves back when you move too close. They should invent some technology, because he's like, you know what I saw? Man, she was pretty good. I was like, what? What? Uh, what? I don't, am I missing something? And I was like, hmm, I took her on a walk. We hung for one, two, three, four, five days. You know? What am I missing? I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not. I was like, Brooke, what's the catch? You're so sweet. You're so kind. You're so funny. We have the same morals. We have the same goals. We have the same ethics. I would laugh so much if he's like, you're so kind. You're so funny. You're so sweet. We have the same morals. We have the same goals. And you hit your dog. And... <laughs> For whatever reason, you still haven't brought up <laughs> the situation about the dog. Uh, Sphinx can't express his feelings. We've expressed our feelings to you guys. Everything that's critiquing you and telling you to get better help and to acknowledge what you've done is wrong. You haven't done. Teal comes on to defend you saying it's not that bad. You still haven't done the first step, acceptance. You're still fighting it to this day and that is a huge issue. So yeah, I'll keep piling on the jokes if you're gonna keep ignoring the fact that what you did is a serious, serious thing. So one night, probably the sixth or seventh time we hung out, and Brooke told me, she goes, hey, you know how you keep asking what the catch is? Well, there is one thing. She was like, starting, and I stopped her. I said, is this about the dog thing? She was like, yeah, how do you know? How do you know? And I- She said, how do you know? <laughs> one of two things happened. She either was so delusional that she didn't think people would know. That's the first thing we associate at this point with Brooke Houts. Or two, <laughs> She thought Teal was so stupid that he wouldn't Google. <laughs> it might be number two. She she thought Teal was like never going to find out. She's like, he doesn't know how to use Google. He, every time I catch him with the laptop, he's doing that. I don't know. That's a no. <laughs> Bro. I went, to your, your, I went to your Instagram. I clicked on your YouTube and I, and I saw you had a lot of subscribers. I can't even try to imagine what you've gone through. Like just getting to know you and hanging out with you has been so genuinely fun. Like I don't want to talk about the dog. OJ, you've got such a beautiful smile, OJ. I'm so glad that we're hanging out. The last four or five days, I... I've just been having so much fun with you. 
I don't even want to talk about you stabbing and murdering. You thought I wasn't gonna find. <laughs> you thought I wasn't gonna find out. Uh, it's 1994. There's no Google, and I still have found out because I'm not an idiot. I did not want to talk about the dog thing, and the only reason I did not want to talk about the dog thing is because I I didn't even want to try to understand what she was feeling. So I just told her like, Brooke, I do not care. They they call female dog bitches. Uh, they probably call you a bitch too. Out of migraine. We've had the same mindset, same morals, same food. We're on the same diet plan. Besides you being vegan, he said we eat the same food. Except that she's vegan. Oh, deal. That means you don't eat the same food. There was just so much in common. She does the same thing. She goes to the gym when I go to the gym. She eats the same food that I eat. We eat around the same time. Like We sleep around the same time. Uh, sometimes when I go to the toilet, she's there. I'm like, hey, do I go on top of you? I don't deal. What? <laughs> this man is, he's making me lose my marbles again. I want to talk about the dog, deal. Can you not do this right now? It's funny, but why? We still spent every single day together not talking about the dog thing. Now we're gonna kind of talk about everything all together. So now you guys know how I met Brooke, how I first learned of the dog thing, and how it was handled up to that point. It wasn't really handled. Exactly, it wasn't handled at all. You completely breeze by it. Um, that is a horrible way to maintain a relationship, I'll be honest with you. To each their own, but if you wanna live on lies, go ahead. Would you lie to me? Yeah, wanna fight? Oh. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. I, just wanted, I had this idea, driving home from the gym one day, I just wanted people for seven days, for seven days straight, just give me one video each day for one thing you're grateful for. Why is it a seven day challenge just by this? I know this is off topic. Why don't you be grateful every day? What is, what is the challenging thing to say thank you so much for this or thank you for that? Why, what is the hard part about that? Why is everything like a challenge? Like I wanna be positive today. Do it. It doesn't seem natural. You shouldn't have to work that hard to be thankful. Or if you just learn to make peace with yourself, I think you'll get it. And I talk about forgiveness. I talk about giving thanks, giving thanks. It's been about a month and we still haven't talked anymore about the dog. One month, huh? That's a Nang's G moment right there. And I look at all these comments, all this hate, all this hate she's getting on her YouTube, on Instagram. For some reason, I felt like this is almost my calling. I'm healthy, I'm happy, I can speak, I'm well at speaking, I'm well at speaking, I'm well at speaking, I'm well at speaking. Oh. I'm well at speaking is what he said. And I've gotten to see literally how, how kind she is. Show kindness to the people at the grocery store when we go to the grocery store and I just couldn't make sense of it, how Brooke is continuing to get so much hate. They keep saying it's hate. Yeah, I still have it on my head. Dislikes don't always mean hate. More often than not, uh, if the majority of people dislike something, they usually have a point. If everyone bands together to form a similar opinion. Uh, if you have someone who's getting a lot of likes, people almost unanimously agree that person's cool. If you're getting a lot of dislikes, something you did might be wrong and you have to attend to that. It's not hate if it's valid. And I know that there's perspectives. I know, Teal, I know that you're seeing this. You might see this video as hate. It's not. I don't like what she did. And I don't like how you guys are going about uh, defending what you did. That's my issue. And I think that's the issue with a lot of people in the comments. Please don't call it hate again. It's, it's kind of valid after what she did. How in the world does this, this strong woman get through this? Something that completely, 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 I, 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 I can't understand this. I'm sitting there like, why is this girl not smiling, loving me, kind, forgiving? So if you guys were in my shoes, are you not sitting there like, what is going like? That forehead vein getting bigger every time he does the counting. Every single time he says something, he has to add four things to it to make the, f he just likes this. He's like, this, 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 this. And they're like, why is this girl not on drugs? Why is she not in the dumps? Like, why is she not, why is her like? He's, he's counting again. He's back to it. Why is she not on drugs, crack, methamphetamine, P, LSD? You got hopped up on marijuana, marawiba. Right? That's what we'd all be thinking. But Brooke smiles, loves, she forgave me, she was kind to me, she was fun to me. Who cares about you, bro? Nobody cares about you. It's about the dog. First, it's called, the video's called opening up about the dog. We're 21 minutes in. I don't care about you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right now, I care about the dog. Okay, Teal? Jesus 
Christ. Oh, cause the Christian, no. Mm -mm. I see the type of person she is and guys, guess what? How they each and every day that you wake up is a blessing because tomorrow's not promised. Yesterday wasn't promised. We are not owed tomorrow. And by that logic, you're not owed an apology. You have to earn it. And you've done nothing, nothing to earn it. She said, I'm sorry, but, and that's it. That's the extent of what she said. It's like you don't see the stuff that you're preaching. And even though thousands and thousands and thousands of people will tell her she's awful, she's hated, she still smiles and loves. I pick up on it. And then I start, hold on a second. So here's Brooke with this perfect, 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 perfect story. And now the whole world just thinks of her as a dog abuser, a piece of garbage, and everyone hates her. And now I see this. <laughs> People hate her for all this, every single day, all this stuff. So now it's the perfect opportunity. Why do me and her not create a story out of this? Because that would be exploiting a situation that went wrong. Do you want the lust teal? Because that would be exploitative? Because that wouldn't help the dog in any way? Because you wouldn't admit to your mistake? Because the story isn't great? And because you guys are so egocentric, you made a channel about God, apparently, and called it Brook and Teal. Story out of this, right? All right, we had to switch to the iPhone. I was running my mouth too long. Anyways, picking up where we left off. I see all the hate she's getting. Now I see an opportunity to share love Mm -hmm. in a way that 99% of this world doesn't get the chance to and also probably wouldn't. That is super egocentric to say 99% of the world doesn't get the love that you give. Oh my god. <laughs> you know who gets love though? Fluffster. Every time. You know why? Because he's the man. Uh, geez, love is not being on camera saying I love you. It's all the little things that go unnoticed and when you don't ask for people to do anything back, it's everything my mom did for me and didn't ask in return for. It's every, everything my dad did when, when he was and wasn't around in my life. It's, it's those little gestures that you don't expect from people and then you get them. I just realized I've been talking with the lenses down for the longest time. And Brooke here, although she has all the hate, she has YouTube subscribers, so she already has the following. She already has a lot of eyes that are seeing these videos. She feels like her career is over, it's done, she has nothing more. And then all of a sudden, God places myself in her life. She sees this light, she sees my energy. I stand corrected. Maybe that's the most egocentric thing I've ever heard. God placed me in your life. I'm 16 Leo, guys. God placed me in all of your lives. This is like Kanye West can say that and we'd be like, yeah, that's about right. But anyone else. I have someone with a huge following of YouTube right now of people that dislike her crazily. And matter of fact, they hate her. I can't stay mad at him, man. Especially when he be roasting her like that matter again. Fact, oh, Teal, you're back on it. It's still a no though. Of people who do not have love. Here is hundreds of thousands of people who need love. Here is hundreds of thousands of people who need to hear the messages that I'm gonna speak through you. Brett comes over that night, we sit down, I look Brooke in the eyes and say, listen, I want to build an empire with you. Well, you better get started. It's gonna take a while at this rate. Just by the way, Egyptians, they, they, built, <laughs> they, built, they built the pyramids. You know what they built them off, Brooke? Sphinxes, that's an empire. I just wanna say that. God has chosen such a strong, independent woman to have the hate that she has the hundreds and thousands of people now it all makes sense brooke is a dog abuser brooke is a mess up brooke is worthless it's not about her it's not about me it's not about our channel guys it's, i mean this isn't even about this is this isn't about the dog it absolutely is about the dog actually it 100,000% is about the dog. You wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for, people would not give 51,000 views. You wouldn't get that if you didn't put the dog in the title. If you guys are Christians, but I'm losing faith in you. It's bigger than us. I don't care. People told me, they, they, they told me, Teal, it's gonna ruin your career. You're gonna get hate. You're gonna be disliked. I don't care. You can't ruin a career that didn't start. It's not about me. It isn't about me. I'm grateful Brooke is a dog abuser. I'm grateful Brooke is a mess up. I'm grateful Brooke is worthless. 
I'm Teal. If you're coming to my Instagram, I know you see a little bit of Teal. Yeah, Reverend Teal over here has a point. People who are coming to leave dislikes and comments and hate, still, that counts as engagement. Like I said, the best thing to do is to just ignore these two. If you, if you, if we all ignored these two, it would just be two people in a car yelling when they pulled off. And it wouldn't even be at each other. People would be like, what the hell is that? I really, really honestly thought that this video would be about Sphinx. And I thought maybe, maybe I could be like, yes, they, they actually are doing something proactive about the dog. That's not what's been the case so far. It's been Teal snorting a vial of crack and then going off on people for like 30 minutes. Oh, this, is, this isn't about the dog. Brooke, open-handedly. Hit her dog. Here is hundreds of thousands of people who need drugs. She's awful. She's hated. Brooke is worthless. I don't care. I'm my dad. I'm my mom. I'm the dog. I'm this strong woman. I'm Teal. Like I said, there's two cardinal sons on YouTube uh, hurting an animal and hurting a child because they cannot fend for themselves. <laughs> it's not an apology if you don't actually take steps towards it. So... That's a no. Fluffs, can you calm me down? Yeah. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, there's one more video called Sphinx Update, Brook and Teal. And it was posted after this. So maybe, and I just had a look at the likes. Nope. But let's look at it anyway. We did have to leave Sphinx in Los Angeles just because there's not enough room for him to run around and play out here. But fortunately, he's in the hands of two really good people from my church. I get sent update pictures of him every few days. He's always snuggled up on the couch, hanging out with people, and he looks super happy and well taken care of. Thank you. Pray for Sphinxy. Thank God. Even if it's a couple days. Uh, maybe we should just move to Idaho. Okay, thank you. What there was was a lack of knowledge. I clearly could have educated myself better on how to train do train dogs. I didn't do that. Therefore, I made a big mistake in training that has never happened again since. More like run a train on your dog. <laughs> I'm very thankful that we have my dogs here that we were able to show love on. And also, Teal back then, he said, show love on our dog. What the f are you talking about, bro? Brooke is not an animal abuser. I have not ever seen her mistreat any kind of animal. Well, except the video where she did it. What? Her mistake just happened to get blown up in front of millions and millions of people. There was never a lack of love for animals, for dogs. Brooke loves animals. She loves dogs. I've seen her do nothing but love on animals. Sounds very wrong to say love on animals, Teal. Please, please stop. You might have, she might get another charge and then she'd be the most hated person ever. Stop saying love on dog. Mm -mm. Dogs, if she, if she mistreated them, if she was an abuser, then these dogs would clearly not be sitting here right now how yeah. they are with her. You're, you're absolutely right. The dogs would be like, I've seen this video. I am calling you out. Oh, wait, Teal, dogs don't talk. That was another six minutes of Brooke saying that she definitely is not a dog abuser. If, if you do something wrong, people give you that title until you can rid yourself of that name. The way you can rid yourself on the name is not to keep saying you didn't do it. We've seen you do it. If you really, really, really want to move on with your channel, if that's more important, which it looks like it is, I would suggest, yeah, I would suggest giving Sphinx to those two people that uh, currently uh, have the dog. In summary, what did we learn, guys? YouTube seems to be a place where people who make mistakes never seem to change. One day, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, one day we're gonna get to the point where we're big enough to make a difference and these guys might see the videos and they'll be like, hmm. 16 Leo Army, Buttercup Army, Fat Babies. Thank you so much for watching. We've been growing and been doing so well. I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, Teal and Brooke, I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, Sphinx, I hope you're doing good. And I shall see you guys very soon with another video. Take care. Okay, Fluffs, what do you think about this whole dog situation? Why you hitting me and you don't even say sorry? Use the real bitch, woof, woof, you naughty. Need a new owner, sick of always being bodied. Yeah, doo-doo in your mouth, like it was my party.